All right. So for those who want the new man program, the new training, the link is below. Now, once again, you cannot find it. <laughs> this is intentional. So you have to sign up for it and you have to get into it. And I'm going to start working on that um, pretty much probably tonight and start sending out offers and setting that up. But yeah, that's you have to hit that link. And that's the only way that you can get in. And no, you cannot find it looking online. So let's get into this video. Deaf, dumb, and lazy. Everyone wants results, but they want someone else to do the work. One of the things that I am really beginning to understand is I am pissing off a lot of people. I see it in the comments and the little fights. And let me go ahead and say this from the top. You don't want to watch me? I don't care. I really don't care. Uh, this whole like, I'm going to let watch those YouTube videos because he's telling the truth and he's pissing me off. I, I really don't care. Continue to be a loser. Not my problem. And one of the things that I, I really love is you're sitting at home and you're sitting down and you will put in there, could you cite your source? And I'm just sitting there like, just go ahead and say, I don't believe you, because a lot of people have a problem with my last video talking about rich people have education. Now, let me go ahead and explain some stuff to you. How do I know this? Lived in the multi-million dollar neighborhood. I had neighbors. Um, the majority of my neighbors were educated. They were not Pookie, Ray Ray, Too Loke, someone from around the way. They weren't, they weren't, they weren't one of those people. I have friends. Most of my friends who are rich and business owners have degrees. Not half, most of them. I am the exception. And let's talk about this. Warren Buffett has a degree. Elon Musk has degrees. Warren Buffett has degrees. Elon Musk has degrees. Jeff Bezos has degrees. These are historical facts. So for me to do as well as I've done in life is going, I'm an exception. I am not the rule. I am an exception. I am not the rule, but there are many people who will see what I did and feel that they can do it. And some people might be able to pull it off. But let me go ahead and explain to you why you will not be able to pull it off. Number one, you don't have my work ethic. One of the things I consistently see in the Internet training space is you can take my course and you can work less and you can make more money. That's a big, big lie. It's a big lie that's being pushed to sell courses. Um, when I was in the storage auction business, I gleefully and joyfully worked seven days a week. Once again, you guys don't want to work that hard. How do I know this? Let's rewind the clock and go back to the pandemic. 2020. That was a time for you to set yourself up to be rich by now. But did you? No. You sat at home. You played video games. You had sex. You completely jacked off. And this is one of the things I've noticed. Um, once they open up things after the pandemic, I noticed a lot of my restaurants that I literally would have to get on the wait list an hour or so. And I would get on the wait list at home because it was so packed. Now I can roll into those restaurants whenever I want to. You want to know why? The recession is here. The recession ain't coming. The recession is here. And one of the things that cracks me up, like you don't want to watch this channel. Don't watch. Um, for you folks who want to get all aggressive and angry in the comments, all you're going to do is just get yourself blocked and delete it. 
and you won't be, you won't get to come in anymore. And I guarantee you, you still will watch me. I guarantee you, you still will be watching me because I put out some good stuff. So one of the things that I find to be very, very interesting is the number of people who want me to post receipts, post your source. Um, number one, I'm not going to do that because I am not your hand servant. Someone will come on there who's sitting at home, ain't doing nothing like, hey, could you post the website or where you got this information? I got this information from my damn life. That's where I got this information. I got the information from how I live. That's where I got the information. And all of you folks who like post a receipt and like one yard bird went back and forth and he got smart and I, he just got deleted and blocked because I'm just sitting there like, once again, I understand that many of you have not had exposure to real money. You don't have personal friends who are millionaires. You don't. Because if you did, you would not be saying the things that you say in the comments. Because once again, 30327, that's where I used to live. That's where I'm going back. Google that average home price in that zip code. I lived amongst real millionaires, educated millionaires who had housewives who didn't work. I would whip around my neighborhood and run into people driving Lambos, Ferraris, Rolls Royce, Porsches. It was a daily event. So this whole notion that everyone is rich is just cheap. Let me go ahead and break that down for you. And this is something that I talk about. The average millionaire in the United States is an asset based millionaire. Now, what does that mean? That means they include their house and their stock portfolio and other stuff in there. And essentially, if they were to go out and buy my Porsche, they would have to sell something. Because they're asset based millionaires. The average millionaire in America really can't do anything from a cash point perspective. The average millionaire just can't. And one of the things is because you haven't been exposed. And I'll go ahead and talk about when I first started getting exposure to people who had money. I remember I was was working at Rent-A-Crate. I was about Rent-A-Crate for about four or five months. And then I went to this leads meeting to talk to all these people. And I drove up in the company van because at the time I didn't have a car. And I noticed that there was nothing but Mercedes, BMWs, um, luxury, nice cars. And they were late model. They weren't old. And I went in and I see these guys and they're they're wearing their suits and they're talking. And I, fortunately for me, I actually had on a business class shirt, no tie and pants and a belt and some dress shoes. So I, I, I didn't really stand out a lot, but I did stand out. And I was just sitting there listening to the conversations they were having. Oh, yeah, you know, we're going to get this at the lake house. So, well, yeah, we just bought a house in Florida, a beach house. And I'm just listening. To, it's just totally different conversations, totally different conversations. And that was my first exposure to real money, people with real money. And this whole notion that so many of y'all love, I'd rather be rich. And have no one know there, there's a guy on YouTube talking about stealth wealth and all these people have money and they live in a regular house and they drive a regular car. Let me explain something to you. They live in a regular house and they drive a regular car because they have to. They have to. And they don't have as much money as you think they do. Like, let me go ahead and be really clear about this. Having a house that's paid off and having money in the stock market, that's a good thing. It's better to have money somewhere than not have money. 
But the reality is their economic means dictate that they can only do so much economically. They have to drive a regular car. They have to live in this neighborhood because they don't have the money to live anywhere else. That's the reality. I started hanging out with people. I remember the first time that um, I was hanging out with Michael Shanley. He was the owner of Rental Credit at the time. And Shanley had opened up his wallet and I had never seen so many credit cards. He had American Express, Visa, MasterCard. I mean, he had like this. Um, I want you to, this. This is my wallet. Like if you cut off this top and that's the kind of wallet he had, it was full of credit cards. And I was like, dang, Mr. Michael, that's a lot of credit cards. And he says, he said, this is one of the reasons I love America. Uh, Michael was British is you can get a lot of money if your credit score is good. And, you know, we're, we're starting to have this conversation. And this man literally had a wallet with over a million dollars in credit cards. And this was a long, long time ago. And these were the things I would run into. And these are the things I would be a part of and I would go and also when I got to business environments and that was a whole nother exposure to a level of wealth what I would call functional wealth uh, people had money to do the things they wanted to do they were like these guys I work with had two and three houses so this whole thing is um my exposure in being in these rooms and being around these people educated me because this is one of the reasons I make the videos and this is one of the reasons I say the things because a lot of the stuff on the internet is false. Like, you know, this thing that was going on about Waka Flocka and how he was doing infinite banking and he bought all these life insurance policies. Let me tell you something. When, he, when that video came out, I said he's going to lose a lot of money. That was the first thing that came to my mind because here's the thing. Like if you're going ahead and getting into this infinite banking and these cash money policies, typically the average person who's watching these videos doesn't have enough cash to actually make these things work. They don't. This is one of the reasons that I don't really talk about whole life um, for my personal self. I have a term life policy. I have a million dollar term life policy. And, you know, if I didn't have a business that this is the key, because everyone's trying to manipulate and flip their money. Here's the thing. <laughs> you need to have some damn money. You, it, this, 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 I see all this stuff of manipulating and flipping and, you know, trying to turn a hundred dollars into 20,000. This is one of the reasons that these trading channels do so well, or if someone comes on talking about their trader. And one of the things I have noticed about the majority of these traded channels is they are selling something and I have no problem with them selling something, but understanding money, understanding real wealth. I know that's where most of their income comes from. It doesn't actually come from trading. It comes from selling their product because one of the things that, you know, cause I sell information products. I know how much money you can make with a course. You can make a crazy amount of money with a course, the amazing selling machine, which was an Amazon FBA course made a hundred and thirty million dollars. This one course. And that's not the greatest selling course of all time. So one of the things is that, you know, I see with this group of people who watch this channel and we've got some stars. We've got some people out here doing it. We've got some people who understand the concepts. We've got some people who are not dumb, deaf and lazy. But there's there's a group of you because oh, I saw this like I hate this dude. Because he's talking about people who 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 drive for DoorDash. All right. Let me just say something. Um, if you have someone who's doing gig work and they're making a lot of money, they're working a lot of hours. You're not going to have someone do gig work 
and work 20, 15 hours and make a lot of money. It ain't happening. But the people who are making 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars, there's a guy, uh, more finance. He did a video on how much money he made in a year and he did full time. He worked almost 160 hours per month. And at the end, he only made 25,000 after deducting gas and expenses, real cost. But I have literally have people lying talking about, I made $98,000 working gig work part time. I'm just sitting there like, really, really. And then there are some people I call friend, friend, in friend, friend enemies, friends who are enemies. Uh, there was someone that left a comment who's been watching the channel for years, yet he is still in the same financial plant place he was when he first started watching the, watching the channel, which means he ain't listening to a damn thing I say. He just watches. It goes in one ear and it comes out the other ear. He, he ain't doing anything. He ain't applying anything. He's doing absolutely nothing. And one of the things that I love to see is because I've got people who watch me who actually listen to me. And let, let's talk about this. All right. You, you think let me go ahead and give you this challenge. You think you're smarter than me. All right. That's the thought process in your head. OK, go ahead and establish a YouTube channel and let's see how well you can compete with me. Because, see, it's one thing for you to think. But it's a whole nother thing for you to prove it. And a lot of you want to go in there and like essentially when we get into one of these one off debates where you want to get uh, rah rah. All you're going to do is get blocked and deleted. That's all you're going to do, because I have learned that it is not in my best interest to go back and forth with fools in the comment section. It's just not. So one of the things is everyone who wants this proof, learn to be a researcher, learn how to do your own damn work, learn how to do that, because essentially, let me explain to you what's going to happen to the deaf, dumb and stupid. Once again, I stand by my assertion because like, you know, the, the old guy. The car was raggedy. This dude wasn't making a lot of money. He was struggling. And it was like, oh, you're making all this money? And all you folks are like, oh, I do DoorDash for a vacation and stock money. All right. The person who said that, you're a retired military. You got a check coming in. This dude does not retire military and he don't have a check coming in. He is struggling. And this is what's going to happen to a lot of people who are making bad decisions when they're young. They're going to find themselves. There's a channel um, living large in Arizona. All this dude is go around and find poor people who are struggling. And it's easy because there's a lot of them. And once again, as we get into uh, what's going on with America. You could become you could keep wanting to someone else to do for you to do your research, because like. I think if you've been watching in a while that if you ask me a question like what song you're playing in the video or can I get some receipts? Because here's the thing. I have a process for making my videos. Um, typically, I don't really have the time to be like, oh, someone left a comment. Oh, let me go ahead and spend 15 minutes looking for this information so I can respond to their comments. Are you out of your damn mind? Are you or have you lost your damn mind? I mean, seriously, I get so many comments who are like asking for me to do this and do this. Oh, and also, let me go ahead and explain to you why you cannot find any of those older videos. And this is something that worked. I reset the channel. I took down all the old videos. I didn't post anything for over a month and it reset the channel. That was my intention. That's what I was trying to do. And you will not find those old videos because I put those old videos up. Guess what? Gets into the YouTube algorithm. And then we go back to what we were doing, which I don't want to do that because I got a lot of stuff that's going on. Ton of stuff that's going on. Things that I'm actually working on. And I'm not sitting around waiting for someone to um, 
save me or help me out because I'm an active person. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, and once again, there's a good group of people who watch the channel. There's a good group of people who support the channel. And then I have a lot of dumb asses. Yes, dumb asses. You folks, once again, I, I find it hilarious. You think you're smarter than me with no proof. You don't have no money. You have no assets. You have nothing going on. But I'm smarter than Glenn and Cameron because I think so. And you want to get into these little comment fights. If you notice, I don't get into comment fights. I'm just going to delete and block you and keep it moving. Because one of the things that I have learned is for many of you, your comments are all you have. I had no clue to how important comments were to people until I began to really think about it. Dude, they don't have nothing else. They have no money, no assets, no business, nothing. That's all they got is a comment. So when you start thinking as a, as a regular person, like all of these dumbass people, yeah, I'm going to say it. All of these people go into TikTok whining and crying about how broke they are. They're dumb. They're absolutely dumb because your first initiative should be to find a solution versus to go to social media and to whine and cry. To whine and cry. I'm just sitting there like, you think things are bad now? Let me explain to you what's happening. Target and other stores are closing down stores. You want to know why they're closing down stores? Because people are stealing like crazy. They're stealing. And this is just the beginning. We're just like, this is just 2023. 2024, 2025, 2026 are going to be worse. They're going to be much, much worse. And this is one of the things that I see, because like for 15 years, what have I been saying? Start a business, start a business, start a business, manage your money, get your credit. I've been saying that, and a lot of people haven't been listening. And then we had this pandemic, which opened the door to big daddy government coming in. And this made people who were already lazy, even more lazy. And now they're looking for big daddy government to come back in. And big daddy government is not going to come in and release another six trillion dollars into the economy. There will be no more enhanced unemployment. There will be no more direct payments. There won't. And also, this is one of the things that I find to be really interesting. You have what I call the keyboard warrior. You have a lot of people who come on and they're very aggressive online and they will talk all this stuff. In real life, they're total bitches. They have no authority. They will not speak up. They can see a crime happening in front of them and they're going to run and hide. They're going to run and hide because they have no voice in that. So one of the things that I have begun to understand and one of the things that I really pay a lot of attention to is the methodology and the mindset of the common average person. And most of y'all and, you know, um, Someone else said this before, but most of y'all are bitches. Most of you are timid, scared little bitches. And this is why with the new training, uh, it's going to be very, very different. Uh, I will not be bringing back anything that I've done before. This will be very new, direct training. And um, once again, you're not going to be able to see it because that, that's something else, too. Some of the folks online are some of the nosiest people. I have said something about the CPN disappearing. And if you're going to deal with a creditor that uses Experian, which they verify your Social Security number. So if you have a CPN, it ain't going to work with Experian. And this person on this channel went to my website and saw all, you know, I'm just sitting there. It must be terrible to be a jealous little bitch. It must be terrible. So going forward, you're not going to be able to see what's going on with my websites. 
You're not going to be able to see it because I'm going to hide it because I am sick and tired of whiny, wimpy people going to my website just to be nosy. They don't want to buy anything. They don't want to set up anything. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So going forward, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be very, very different and on point that I'm going to do to um, move forward. But once again, do not come to this YouTube channel asking me for my sources because you can might as well just say, man, I believe you're lying. That's all you have to do because that's what you think because you're not smart enough. You don't have enough exposure to real money to even know the difference. And this is why you're um, functionally broke. You may have a job. You may pay your bills. But other than that, you don't have shit else. And if you think I'm talking down to you, Take it, take it the way I am, because I'm not going to kiss your ass to tell you the things you need to do to make you better. I'm not because, you know, some of y'all are so weak and sensitive that anytime anyone comes to you, because like once again, a lot of the stuff I said during the pandemic came true. It came true because y'all are weak. So. Once again, you can stay, stick with this weak format of not doing anything, not building anything. That's your that's your process. That's what you can do. All right. So that's all I got. But, yeah, I am not. You can ask me all day in the comments to post a, re, a source. And I'm just going to ignore you because I am busy. I actually have stuff going on. I'm actually working on some stuff. I'm not just on here sitting here making YouTube videos trying to lie to you to get you to buy something. I'm going to tell you the blunt truth and you, you can't deal with it. Then you just be the little bitch that you are.